This is Drom Shekasuto. Shalom, dear spirits and holy souls, how are you doing? I'm uh, reaching out to you guys from, uh, from uh, my place, from this uh, out of the world location, calling you um, to the high level and high. Um, most delicate and gentle portions of your spirit uh, to remind you of our mission on earth it um, it makes a lot of sense for people that are not deep thinkers uh, just to follow some uh, other people's methods in life and just like to to flow with whatever people will tell you to do and it's not uh, um, it's not like only religious people are following uh, their their mentors their teachers rabbis priests whatever or or some spiritual guide also in the secular world, in the world that people does not have faith in a certain religion, still people do have faith in something and they follow society. They follow the people that seems to be successful in that generation in those days. They follow people that seems to be uh, important or that has some like power, money. Uh, beauty, grace, whatever. So just like, okay, if he succeed like like that, so I'm I'm gonna try to to follow him. Like if he became successful by doing this, I'm gonna try to do. And you lose yourself, and you lose your connection with the truth. Now, in reality, the person needs to desire the truth in all its power and grace, no matter where he is at. You have tests in your life and not only because that you chose to be religious or that you chose to follow Hashem, now you have tests. Also other people, no matter where they are at, they have tests. Like some person wants to get accepted to, to, call to a very high level college, whatever. So it's like he has like... To, to apply he needs to go through some tests whatever like and, and he might be might be like failing and then it's a challenge he needs to 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 test again and to like to try again next year whatever like life are full with tests no matter where you are at and we must remind ourselves that the creator he is much greater than we think and that we understand the Creator, He is with every creation and creation on earth, with no connection to His religion and with no connection to His um, nation and with no connection to, to His role in life. The Creator is with you because the Creator, He is life itself and He provides life. And now if you want to be in touch with the Creator, if you want to be flowing on the right side you need to attach yourself to the truth because the truth is the creator means the fact that there is a creator to the universe that's the truth so every time that you say the truth you connect yourself to the creator no matter where you are at by being religious or following a certain path you're not going to find true happiness you're not going to find the creator because you can be a pathetic liar that is very very orthodox and very very strict and very very observant and like still you are acting like a jerk to your family to your wife to your children to yourself you don't have faith you you you're not nice you're not kind like you're not positive you don't have hope you don't trust the creator you're just like an ignorant person dressed with a very tight suit so like what's the benefit of being religious in such a ridiculous way it's not useful that's not the purpose of religion that's not why the creator revealed himself to us through his holy prophets 
and guided us and, and gave us some wonderful advice. The main advice and the only method that will work for you is to be truthful, to be honest no matter where you are and who you are and where you're at. No matter in which situation, you need to be truthful. If you're broken, if you're sad, if you're depressed, if you're happy, if you're successful, if you're rich, if you're poor as hell, if you are in the lowest level of them all, if you're Jewish, if you're Israeli, if you're from a different nation, you're a Gentile, you're I don't know what, you have white skin, dark skin, pink skin, I don't know what, it doesn't matter. It's all nonsense. You have an accent, you don't have an accent, you have money, you don't have money. You need to be honest. You need to be a person of truth. And then you'll see success. Then you'll see that the Creator will keep on hinting you on how to be more truthful and more loyal and more nice and more kind and more with patience and will help you to increase your faith and to grow spiritually. And you will achieve the heights. And achieve the heights doesn't mean that you will become rich. It doesn't mean that you'll possess houses, own houses. It doesn't mean that you will, I don't know what, be accepted to that community or be the chazan of the synagogue. Like, those are not the things that will represent your success, that will show and reflect your spiritual success. Your spiritual success is the completion that you will experience in your spirit, that you will feel good and right and righteous and confident about your path, about your identity, that the light of your soul will shine, that the beauty that been given to you will be used and will be found useful in the world, that people will enjoy your light in this world. That's the success of this lifetime that the beauty that been given to you by your Creator will be used in proper ways, will help others, will open gates for other people to find themselves, to become themselves. You can born in a kibbutz in the Holy Land of Israel and to live secular life. You can born in the most orthodox community in Williamsburg, uh, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, you can find yourself looking for your path from a Catholic church in uh, Wisconsin and you can be a Native American that is looking his uh, path from a broken family and trying to, to, to reach out for, for some truth and for some justice. You can be a Muslim person in a Muslim very very strict uh, radical uh, country. You can be um, very modern uh, Palestinian that lives in the Holy Land of Israel between Jewish people and and to find a lot of truth in that place and trying to make peace and trying to come to understandings and not f to be pulled to war and, and struggles and fights. The point of truth will bring you to it. The truth is like a magnet, is like the power of gravity. When you attach yourself to it, it pulls you deeper to an inner layer, to a much deeper and meaningful um, layers of it. And you can achieve it in such amazing and enormous ways that the truth will be revealed to you, that you will see with your bare eyes the Creator in every step of your life. Every m word that will come out from every mouth will be part of your puzzle, will complete the big picture in front of your eyes, will answer your questions. Every situation will lead you in the path of truth. There are no mistakes in the way the Creator is supervising on His creation. Everyone just need to attach themselves to that inner power that moves and runs it all. You need just to be truthful and honest. If you feel that you are pushing yourself too much and you're using people for your own needs, for your own desires, it's time to back off. 
if you find yourself that you're doing things against other people's feeling and emotions and you're being wrong by that you're being too cruel too selfish too self-centered that's not the path of truth all the good attributes all the kind character lines are the signs that you need to look and see and recognize while walking in the path of life you need them the good midot the good attributes to be the markers to show you and guide you exactly where to put your next step only to be nice only to have patience only to love only to care and also to care about yourself also to love and appreciate yourself also to build and stabilize your own character to accept yourself with all your lackings with all your bruises with all the scars that you carry the spiritual ones the emotional ones the mental ones to embrace them to accept yourself and to understand that in reality you are who you are and you are in that place to do, to reveal, to uncover, to shine, to represent the good, to be the most beautiful and amazing spiritual person that you can be. Spiritual means honest. Doesn't mean divine, fly between the sky to the higher galaxies that above the garden of eden with the ten sfirot and kabbalistic methods and numerical values Gar nonsense useless not the truth you want the truth be truthful don't lie not good ones you want the truth be truthful you want to be honest and connected to the Creator, so be brave and walk in that path of truth and be the most honest and beautiful person that you can be. And don't give up on the truth ever. And don't let laziness and sadness and despair and depression add me dot to take over you and to break you to pieces. Be beautiful, be honest, even when you're weak even when you don't have power and you're exhausted and you don't know what to do with yourself make one tiny step be honest be nice be kind to yourself and to all your surroundings that's the way to attach yourself to the creator because the creator is the god of truth and he's the life of all this creation and if you want to be connected to him you can do it only by being truthful he is reality if this wall made of by saying that i will disconnect myself from the creator in that aspect but if i will just say simply this is a wall that built from wooden clay whatever it is stone bricks and the color is kind of brown that will connect me to the Creator because I will say the truth. The truth is not only if the Torah is the truth and if you should keep Shabbat or eat kosher, the Torah is also commanding you never to lie in any situation in your life and to be honest in every situation of your life. Not only when Shabbat is involved or kashrut or tefillin or tzitzit or mezuzah also when your wife is asking you if you're able to come early this day from work you should be honest about it also if your friend is called to be truthful to be kind and nice and by that to show the beauty that's been treasured by the creator inside our souls you don't need to change you don't need to be different. You don't need to go elsewhere and nowhere. You just need to be who you are, to breathe and to be proud of who you are. Because inside of you there are fantastic, beautiful, 
most gorgeous qualities that no one else in the world has no one else in the world been blessed with the blessings that you've been blessed with your honesty your sensitivity the talents that you have the abilities and powers that have been given to you by your father in heaven connect yourself to that beauty and let it shine and don't back off until we all as one all the honest troopers all the brave soldiers will bring complete redemption to the whole wide world and the house of Hashem will be called the house of prayer to all nations and everyone every good person with good intentions will find himself in that journey to the truth okay thank you sisters and brothers may the creator answer all our prayers in no time amen ken yehiratson we hope you enjoyed this video very much please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world for more please visit amuna.com may your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.